Okay, the thing is, is uh, I, you, nobody should be playing with this unless they have proper instruction because, um, I mean, I know I look, it looks kind of like uh, barbaric, but there's actually a science behind what I'm doing and I've been training for a while and everything. So, I mean, don't just do this on your own, you know what I mean? My bones are hard because I've been training them for a while. My knuckles are hard because I've been training them for a while. And you need to get uh, proper instruction by somebody qualified. And you know, so and you can't learn this on YouTube or anything like that unless you're already well trained. But the thing is, is this is just kind of like, so I'm not making it in an info, informational uh, video to the art of Wing Chun, because I really am an adherent, you need a Sifu, or you need a Sensei if you're doing any karate or Kung Fu <coughs> or anything, or if you're a judoka, I mean, you need proper instruction, your stuff can go bad. So, when you saw me uh, demonstrating the striking and the bone bashing, and on the gravel bag and everything, I mean, I've been training for a while, okay, I'm conditioned, I had proper conditioning, I learned it. And right here, the bamboo uh, rack right there is you know, on the first part of the video. And just so you guys know, I'm thrusting my fingers through bamboo stalks, okay? So this is something you really shouldn't play with. And I mean, so like I said, if you're already, this is kind of like for people that already know how to train. And so, but you know, anyhow, gotta clip the nails and all that if you're gonna do this. So I'm just gonna do a few right now. Get to sound on my knuckles? Yeah. Good. Proud of ones. I don't need to be proud of the person, so very proud of them. I don't think they really can hear that. They can't. Oh. I can cut it out. It's okay, dude. Don't worry about it. Because we're here to have fun. This is the cat box. The kitty up dojo.
Maddie, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. Hey, Maddie, come and do a film, pal. Dude. You don't have to be in the picture. Hey, you're better looking than me. I'm the one who's going to break, uh, you know, Denny's uh, camera. You're looking like a pit, Maddie. <laughs> Size two after Silomtau. Silomtau means small mind. It's the most vital part of the Wing Chun <coughs> curriculum. Without it, it's not Wing Chun. Shovel handle filled with concrete. 
to wait. Another store towel. Another way. That is not funny. Don't laugh at when you like that, Patty. But that's it here, okay? So yeah, as soon as Matt, you know, Maddie's going to be ready. You got this little visuals. Just bang, 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 bash it. You know, it's like, you know, we slam each other's bones. Yeah, we're just doing a little bone. Instead of the hand well, headbangers ball, we're doing the bone bashing ball, you know what I mean? Yeah. This guy's got like, you know, fire hydrants for arms. Shit. Tough to do. Are we okay, dude? Sorry. <laughs> so this is really a technique. I mean, it's scientific. It looks Neanderthalic, but I mean, there's a lot of uh, thinking involved in this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You should actually go to a qualified tea for seafood, you know? Because, you know, learning shit on YouTube sucks, okay? Unless you're already highly skilled, you know? Not that I'm worth it. Maybe I'm not that good, but, you know, it's like, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. yeah, Matty's a little new at this, but he's strong. He's going to be taking me out in no time. I'm training him how to kill me, you know? <laughs> Love you, Matty. So, so then, when you don't have a partner, this is a good adjunct to train. Bones on the rocky walls. Oh, wah, 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 it's a cat toy. Such a cat toy. I mean, it even looks like one. Take a look at it. I mean, it's designed like a cat toy. If I had a kitty right now, I'd be climbing up the tatami, you know? Fun. What rhymes with Wing Chun but fun? What do you call a, wind, a kung fu person with a gun? Kung fu. You shut up. I can't advocate strengthening bones and knuckles and fingers and all appendages. It's like really cool, you know, really gnarly. I like to squat down a little bit, shoot myself up. All right. Fun. Fun. Okay. Okay, ready. What's wrong? So this is uh, you know, some traditions you use a ball bearing bag. I don't have ball bearing so I made a gravel bag okay so this is this is full of gravel so it's just like This is gravel. So you don't want to just start out on this. It's going to be stupid, okay? Because you're going to cut your knuckles and stuff, okay? So you got to go advanced first, you know, probably, and then you need to go to a real seafood because there's some uh, hacks teaching garbage out there. So, you know what I mean? You can hurt yourself. You need proper instruction. Good stuff. 
and this is a Makiwara. Even though I'm doing Wing Chun, this is a karate striking post that I like too. And I made it so that I can use the chain punches. Um, so. So that's pretty fun. Um, so I'm a big adherent for striking objects to learn how to strike. So, yeah. Um, but you need to learn from somebody who can uh, teach. You know, this is supplementary. The uh, gravel bag. Um, I have no ball bearings, so I use gravel. Uh, my first art was Shoring Ru. And we hit Maki Wars meaning a striking post. But I've got it set up for doing the Wing Chun uh, chain strikes. Um, I just don't want to offend any of the Wing Chun brothers and sisters out there. That's why I'm saying that. Traditionally, we have a sandbag. I have some here too. You know what I mean? So. Crossing into bamboo, and just in my fingers. And I don't advocate this as supplementary training. It's not an excuse. We have four techniques. This is just. It always hurts too, by the way. So no amateur should be playing around with that, okay? All right, so I wanted to articulate that, okay? It's never good. It's never really that good. You got at least in it's focus. Like it looks pretty good, actually. Oh, it looks good, okay. Yeah. So this is, a, um, this is a gravel pot, okay? So I'm gonna do some exercises. I'm gonna thrust my fingers in here. You saw me do it, you know, on the uh, bamboo. You've also seen me do push-ups where I'm getting a grip of my knuckles. So this is just a separate one. Um, this isn't really in the Wing Chun lineage, but uh, I did get it from a Kung Fu brother of another artist. So it's one of the things I like to practice. So anyhow, wherever I find something really neat, I just kind of take it, you know, so it's cool. So I'm gonna do my spear hands. Now I'm going to grip it, roll my knuckles with the gravel in my palms. Getting all knuckles, even the pants are this, you know. Not that we use it in Wing Chun, but I just like to cultivate the uh, kitty fist. So I'm not really pushing hard, I'm kind of like, so then when I lose gravel in my palms, in my grip, I just grab more. Go back and forth, back and forth, getting all everything. It's kind of like a compound exercise. You're getting all this at one time. Pretty cool stuff. I like it. And once again, I mean, you should get proper instructions. You do something like this, you got to acclimate to it. Don't go gung ho. And I'm not pounding, I'm just. Just using a kind of a passive thing because I'm dealing with asymmetrical rocks, you know, which are gravel, okay? So you can't control nature. Nature's, you know, like the bamboo stalks. Every time I hit that thing, you know, the bamboo's gonna reshift. It's like, you know, cards getting reshuffled. You know what I mean? Same with this right here. You can't control anything organic. Because it's gonna go and do what it needs to do to survive. Once again, I grab the grip, grab as much as I can, go down on my knuckles, all knuckles, these knuckles too, right here. 
these here. Even though this isn't in a Wing Chun curriculum, I still like the Panzer Fist. So, but I'm not dissing the Wing Chun Pete brethren out there. I love the Wing Chun. I love the Wing Chun people, my sisters and my brothers. There's so many sea hangs and high level seafoods out there. People have been training for so long. Respect them all, love them all. That's how I learn. I don't know how good I am. I suck, that's why I keep training, because there's so many greats out there. I use them as my role models. I know I'm cackling, but I really mean what I'm saying, too. Nothing but respect. Fingers. This again, this is not a substitute for proper technique and proper learning. This is just conditioning. I want to articulate that. Technique is number one. These are some other adjunct things too. I used, uh, I mean, from karate. I got it from karate. So these are um, represent Nijiri Gami. And they're not really proper, but you know, it's adjunct stuff I made. Um, so I like to take things that I find useful, you know, just kind of like this, you know what I mean? Gripping jars, like this, you know what I mean? So I'm focusing on my grip. You know what I mean? Kind of organic. You know what I mean? Practicing my Kino Ma, my attack stance, the pivot. I'm also getting some flexing in, some flexibility in. I poured these with concrete, so they're a little weighty, okay? And I don't... You can basically make up your own exercise. This is just to give you a stronger grip, too. I love a good grip. You can rip the tendons off of somebody, too, with a good grip. But I mean, you can thrust your fingers through somebody's abdomen, too, with strong fingers, okay? Not that I want to do that. I really don't want to do that, okay? I pray for peace. I train for peace. But if it happens, hey, who cares? I don't know why I do it, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So I'm getting a little quacky here, you know what I mean? So I realize that. So these are good. These, these are kind of fun, you know? They're kind of fun. <clears throat> I mean, it's from the Okinawan lineage. But anyhow, these are fun. Those are a lot of fun, too. All right, ready when you are.
So let me just talk about that. Okay. That was a great conditioning exercise I learned. I sucked at boxing, but I took that away. Balance and toughening up the abdomen, your rib cage, and everything else. Very valuable tool for conditioning. Make any sense? Yeah. Good. Uh, so let's get before you start doing it. You got to tell me the times. Okay. Uh, what is motion? I'll motion. You want to do a motion? Yeah, I'll motion. So what motion are you gonna do? Um. You want to nod your head? Yeah, I'll pause. That means I'm ready. Got it. Okay. Okie dokie. My pause. Okay. So all right. seems crazy but I can't advocate iron body enough. You take a blow, you go, may I have another? You want more? Yes sir.
I'm like a longer shot. <laughs> Dude, hey, thanks, man. No problem. Hey, thanks for your help, I'll dude. see you tomorrow, though. Fuck, right. I mean... Just for getting under the arms. Mm -hmm. When you saw me outside, that's from the upper arms. Toughens up your bones. You know, so yeah. So we got that. And then we're going to go to Mr. Bamboo over here now. Okay. Talk to Mrs. Bouquet. I got another one. Do this. This is something I created myself. Just talking to the camera, not to the person. <laughs> so, this is her grip and for all your knuckles right here. Make any sense? Mm-hmm. Good. Or are you just humoring me? Both, man. Good. <laughs> Grab as much as I can. Try this yet? Yeah. Oh, do you like it? Yeah, it's fun. I'll do a hundred. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna stop <laughs> filming, man. I'm just playing that. <laughs> so, replace the lid on it. Oh, yeah, I'll, do, I'll go get the uh, swords. Okay. Special place in my heart for showing the. Right. Did that get on? Yeah. Okay. Part of it. Yeah, so that was my first art for Wayne Chun. All the Okinawans on the walls, they all condition, just like the Wayne Chun uh, sisters and brothers, the train globally, you know? So big advocates for the uh, conditioning. Yeah. get over here again. Okay. Oh. I have more girths. I okay. Go over there. Okay. Yeah. Just hang on. Tom Q with swords.
Oh yeah. Okay, so these are Ishisashi. They're a little different from what they use in Okinawa. Real cement or real um, stone. Um, I tried to make some and they weren't working on a concrete floor. So I improvised with bricks, okay? So these are my version and anyhow, a lot of this is from Hoja Undo. The bamboo, the gravel comes from the Okinawa lineage. Anyhow, my former style was Kobayashi Shorin Ryu. Uh, so I'm going to do some punches. Good luck. <sighs> I've put more emphasis on using the bricks for punching. It makes your fist fly really quick. Um, there's a leverage in everything. So, God, yeah, yeah um, I wanted to comment on when I was doing the Suet Pal set from Wing Chun. The guy was really pounding me, Matty, um, one of my students, former wrestling champion. He's been training in Wing Chun now for a little while. And so I was taking full blow hits from him. He's strong. He's 30 years old. I'm 54, going on 55. And by the way, on January 30th, 2015, my granddaughter is going to be seven years old, Gabriella. So, yeah. And, but I can't advocate uh, body conditioning. If you get hit, you just want to keep going. Um, so that's just my spirit. That's just me. Maybe I've been hit in the head too many times, whatever. Anyhow, that's just my philosophy. Hundred eight. <sighs> I've put more emphasis on using the bricks for punching. It makes your fist fly really quick. Um, there's a leverage in everything.